Coming up on today's Nightly News. EU budget talks hit new crisis as MEPs refuse to talk with finance ministers. 120 megahertz more to the European radio spectrum portfolio for 4G technologies. An EU ruling could force 4 million women off the road. In our Tuesday column, Bravo Greece, and our letters section, David Samuel Camps writes, The Global Warming Climate Change Debate. I'm Rick Timmis, and this is the Unit Nightly News. EU budget talks hit new crisis as MEPs refuse to talk with finance ministers. Talks on the EU budget for next year dramatically stalled yesterday, while Britain stood fast against yet more increases in the Union's bloated finances, efforts to secure a deal for next year were left in disarray after MEPs refused to turn up for talks with finance ministers from the member states. Now, I think we should give them the benefit of the doubt. They were probably just delayed due to austerity cuts that are affecting public transportation services. 120 megahertz more to the European radio spectrum portfolio for 4G technologies. The European Commission published a decision that makes mandatory for member states to open the radio spectrum by 30th of June 2014 at the latest, adding another 120 megahertz to the radio spectrum portfolio for 4G technologies in and around the 2 gigahertz band. Now we get comments from time to time saying that the unit never reports any positive news from the EU. Well, in my book, this really is a highly positive story, in particular specifying that different technologies must coexist. It's very important that these services interoperate because, essentially, you want to be able to get data to your mobile devices wherever you are in the uh, European Union. Full details of this story are on our website, and I've put the links below. <laughs> EU ruling could force 4 million women off the road. Millions of women drivers face huge hikes in their insurance premiums with the introduction of a new EU regulations next month. From December 21st, up to 4 million of Britain's 17 million female motorists could be forced off the road by gender-neutral pricing. The European Court of Justice ruled it unlawful to discriminate between the sexes when it comes to financial products. Women currently pay an average of £102 less than men, with the figure much higher for younger drivers. The full story is headlining on the front page of theunit.com. Bravo Greece! Trevor Coleman writes, So, what's going to happen? Is Greece going to default, quit the euro, become bankrupt? Will there be a run on the banks? Will contagion occur? Prophets of doom are queuing up to predict all these and many more dire outcomes if Greece quits the Eurozone. I don't believe a word of it. After all, we've been here before. Now, I've pulled this story out from the archives because it's really interesting to note that Trevor's letter predicts much of what we have seen unfold. Check it out for yourself. It's in the Tuesday column section of our, our website and I've included a link below. David Samuel Camps writes, The Global Warming Climate Change Debate. For years, the public across the world have been misled, particularly by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, or IPCC, which has published reports over a number of years stating that there is a scientific consensus that global temperature is rising due to an increase in human-caused climate change. Independent scientists are now challenging the basis of the data that the IPCC scientists have used and entered into computer models whose predictions of climate warming have now been called into question. Now this really is an excellent letter from David and it highlights and references many of the issues that make this debate hang in the balance. I really think this story is essential reading and I've put the links below. That's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news, stories and information on our website, www.theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. 
You can, of course, follow us on Twitter, and our Twitter username is the E Unit. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all our regular updates. And finally, of course, you can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus anytime. Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. Thank you.